Number 23. A power transmission line is hung from metal towers with glass insulators having a resistance of 1 times 10 to the 9 ohms. What current flows through the insulator if the voltage is 200 kilo? 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 Kilo volts. Oh boy. It's going to be a long day, ladies and gentlemen. Long day. Anyway, let's write down what we know and what we don't know. So they're asking us to find the current, right? So I wrote down R and... Okay. Long day, long day. So the current, that's what's being asked. I don't know what it is, so I'm going to put a little question mark. The resistance they told us in this particular transmission line is going to be 1.00 times 10 to the 9th ohms. All right, cool. The voltage now is going to be 200 kilo, kilo volts. But you know that we need this in volts, so simply just take this value and multiply it by 10 to the positive 3 to get that into volts, okay? So now, what's the relationship between these variables? Ohm's law. Ohm's law, right? Current will be equal to the resistance divided by the voltage. So all I now need to do is basically just plug it in. So it's 1 times 10 to the 9th, all divided by 200 times 10 to the 3rd. And simply, voila, let's see what we get. So we get 1 times 10 to the 9 divided by... What? Oh my god. Just kidding. Let's rewind. Okay. By the way, the sound effects are free, so you don't even have to pay any extra for that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I really don't know. I, hey, I don't know anymore. All right. <laughs> oh my God, I'm losing my mind. Okay. Anyway. Just seeing if you're paying attention. Did you just follow me or did you catch? I did on a purpose. I was just seeing if I could lead you to the wrong conclusion. But you should say, Andrew, stop it. You're doing it wrong. Stop it. 200 times 10 to the third divided by 1.00 times 10 to the ninth. Let's see what we get now. 200 times 10 to the third, divided by 1 times 10 to the ninth. Okay, 2.00 times 10 to the minus fourth, and that will be in terms of amps. Okay, and that is indeed now the, uh, the current. Okay, so this very, very simple problem <laughs> turned out to be very, very complex. And if you notice, by the way, we're all human, we're all prone to make silly mistakes. You just want to try to go back and double check. Obviously, Nobody is going to be able to find every single possible silly mistake that they can make. But if you were to go back and just double check, maybe pretend you catch 50% of them. And let's say you make, let's say you have a test, right? And out of, you know, 20 or so questions, um, you make two silly mistakes. So you get two wrong. That's a 90, right? That kind of sucks. But imagine now you were able to catch one of them because you catch 50% of your mistakes. Now all of a sudden it's a 95. Right, so that's the difference between an A minus and an A. It might just be double checking your answers. Okay? So I always like to take mistakes and turn them into positive learning outcomes. Cool. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.